$10 million will be spent on eradicating feral cats across the country, with the pest killing 100 million native animals every day. Authorities are hoping new ways of stopping the cats will save some of our most vulnerable species. A pest authorities are desperate to eradicate. Our goal is very clear, uh, defeat the feral cats. The black-footed rock wallaby, one of more than 120 Australian species, at risk of extinction from the wild creatures. The crisis prompting the federal government to commit $10 million to culling 2 million cats by 2020. Right now we're engaged in the uh, world's most concentrated program. It's hoped investing in new technology like a locally developed trap oh. that shoots a deadly toxin when it senses a cat nearby will have a bigger impact than current programs. Authorities say killing the cats is humane and local wildlife numbers are already improving. There are 250 quolls roaming now in the Flinders Ranges that were once locally extinct. We don't hate cats, we just can't tolerate the damage that they're doing to Australia. Minato Zoo's black-footed rock wallaby program hoping to strengthen their dwindling numbers in the wild. While 22 wallabies raised here have been returned to a secure area in the APY lands, the community won't release them into the wild because the risk of predators is too great. Anything the size of a mid-wallaby downwards is just a, a wonderful meal for a feral cat out there, unfortunately. Tom Angley, Nine News.